Welcome to Building RESTful Python Web Services with Django by Gaston C. Hiller, a video course by Pact Publishing. I am Andy Morris, and I will be Gaston's voice for this course. Gaston C. Hiller is Italian and has been working with computers since he was eight. He has a bachelor's degree in computer science. At present, Gaston is an independent IT consultant and freelance author who is always looking for new adventures around the world. He has been a senior contributing editor at Dr. Dobbs and has written more than a hundred articles on software development topics. Gaston was also a former Microsoft MVP in technical computing. He has received the prestigious Intel Black Belt Software Developer Award eight times. Okay, so let's now talk about RESTful Python Web Services. Representational state transfer is the architectural style that is driving modern web development and mobile apps. Sometimes you have to interact with an existing API and in other cases, you have to design a RESTful API from scratch and make it work with JavaScript object notation. We will work with the web framework in combination with additional Python packages that will simplify the most common tasks. We will learn to use different tools to test and develop high-quality, consistent and scalable RESTful web services. We will also take advantage of object-oriented programming to maximize code reuse and minimize maintenance costs. Now we will see what we are going to cover in this video course. In the introductory section, we will learn the advantages of working with lightweight virtual environments in Python, and we will set up a virtual environment with Django REST framework. In creating the Django View section, we will configure the URL patterns list to route URLs to views. Also, we will start the Django development server and use command line tools to compose and send HTTP requests to our RESTful API. The next section will explain the browsable API feature and we will design a RESTful API that interacted with a complex PostgreSQL database. In working with hyperlinked APIs in the Django section, we'll declare relationships with the models, manage serialization and deserialization with relationships and hyperlinks. Finally, we will create and retrieve related resources. Later, we will improve the REST API in many ways. We will add unique constraints to the model and update the database. We will make it easy to update single fields with the patch method. In the next section, we will add security-related data to the models, and we will update the database. We will look at the advantage of Django REST Framework authentication and permissions features. Later, we will learn the features included in Django REST Framework to define throttling policies. We will use filtering, searching, and ordering classes to make it easy to configure filters, search queries, and desire order for the results in HTTP requests. We will use the browsable API feature to test these new features included in our API. In the final section, we will define additional unit tests to improve test coverage. Finally, we will understand many considerations for deployment and scalability. So, what are we waiting for? Let's begin this journey together, and I hope you will enjoy the ride.